This iron bar is made magnetic by rubbing it with other magnet. We also turn our sewing needle into a magnet. Rub it with one pole of the magnet. It is best to stroke it only in one direction and not back and forth. Needle is stroked approximately 100 times in single direction. This makes the needle magnetic and can attract other magnetic materials like pins. Can you use nails instead of sewing needle and build your own magnet? You must have seen magnetic compass like this available in the market. It is used for finding directions. We can make similar compass using the needle we just magnetized. Take a water bottle cap and insert a needle in it. Place this cap on water in a plastic container and then it aligns itself in north-south direction. This pointed end of the needle is south pole and the eye of the needle is north. Place this container at various locations and verify the direction yourself. Can you make magnetism from the magnet? Yes. If we heat it or if we hammer it for a long time, materials lose its magnetic property. What will happen if I break this needle magnet in half? Will I get a separate north pole and a south pole? Let's find it out. We will gently break this needle with the help of pliers. Now we will place each part into a bottle cap and let it float. To our surprise, both are acting as a magnet instead of a single north pole and another as south pole. These two parts are acting as an independent magnet. You cannot break magnet into a separate north and south pole. If you break it, you will get two magnets. You cannot separate a north pole and a south pole. Try breaking needle into three parts and confirm this yourself. Now, what will happen if you join these two magnets? Will they behave as separate magnets now? Let's place two bar magnets next to each other. We can see that these behave as one single magnet. We discussed how to magnetize objects. We also discussed how to demagnetize objects using various mechanisms.